Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. As you can see, I'm in my garden right now, about to finish it up totally with the landscaping work I've been trying to do. Um, as you can see behind me, this is what we have to fill today. This is going to be where I put all rock. I decided to just do calico stone to contrast the brown mulch that we put down earlier. So um, let me go show you which kind I bought, I bought from um, Home Depot. This is what I went with, Vigoro's uh, Decorative Stone Calico Stone. Um, this stone is a reddish stone. Let me see if I can find open back to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, here we go. So here is what the calico stone looks like but in the sun. See, it has a little tint of the red on the outside of it. I thought that would be really nice to contrast the brown um so but this stone here this stone enhances the landscape and controls erosion so if you're trying to help retain soil moisture will not decay easy to apply um the area over here is 23 feet by about six and a half feet wide um, as you can see i have a couple plants already in there and one of my hostas hosta is growing very slowly which but it's actually growing i decided not to put the other ones in there because i mean they seem like they're growing so well in the pots i'm just going to put the other ones in big pots i'm going to keep this one here see how it goes um, and then add more plants around here um, as we go along in the season or maybe next spring i'll see how it goes but that's a uh, dinner plate daisy very sensitive to water guys so if you do get that just be careful it's very sensitive to water on the leaves um, but that's also lavender which is a definite um, good choice um, it just grows and just does its thing and looks gorgeous um, i just want a depth of one inch nobody's gonna walk on this area here it's just to um give it a nice even landscape and just go around my plants as well so i just went with one inch so we'll see how we do okay right off the bat laying the stone i do recommend wherever you're going to lay the stone pour the bag out there because trying to spread it out is <laughs> it's effort it takes effort so um if you're wanting to use yeah some stone and landscape just go ahead and make sure the bag is where you're going to fill and then you don't have to go too far to spread it all over the place but so far so good it's definitely the look i'm looking for just one inch and that's it as you can see it meets the height of the edging so that's perfect good enough for me and so we'll just keep it moving you can see i have this part all finished back here i'm just going to finish this part that i'm kneeling on right now and we should be good to go um, so let's keep pushing before the sun comes out even stronger and you know we'll be sweating all over the place <laughs> so let's finish up from Home Depot and I have this little bit to complete um, I had to go back because I wanted it to be a little bit more fuller on this side because we do have birds and stuff that like to come through as you can see get their bird bath and then they have a bird feeder like literally right over here so I wanted this area to be a little bit more fuller all righty all finished and I did straighten out the edging um, again to make sure that it ended straight um, in a curve right here. See, now nice and straight and neat. But this project is complete. I have finally finished all the landscaping I wanted to do for my garden section of the backyard. And I am very, very pleased with the color I chose to contrast as you see the brown of what's going on in the backyard. As you can see, all of my sunflowers are blooming some are just so big up there and I planted these a little later so that I can have like succession planting kind of thing going on and in here I just planted some corn 
So hopefully they'll come All up. All right, soon. well, that's enough in the garden today. I'm gonna get ready, get cleaned up for to enjoy the rest of my 4th of July, and I hope you do the same. Uh, take care of yourselves, guys. God bless.